Mm. All right, here we go. Cut that bullshit out and let's uh, start the show. He found it. And by found, I mean he went and got it. Yeah. And by winning. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. And now, to squelch. But yeah, the thing I was talking about, like, um, something I feel like is definitely, like, uh, like something, oh, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe I was completely wrong about that. Uh, maybe I was completely fucking wrong about how fast it was, like, going back to normal speeds. Uh, when it comes to, like, uh, man, I feel like I talk about dating and, like, relationships on my channel more than I do any fucking thing else like nothing else on the channel gets talked about as much as dating and like you know male female relationships i wouldn't say you're wrong and if for whatever reason you feel like well maybe you should talk about male like i'm not fucking gay mm -hmm. I Like, if you're gay, that's good for you. But definitely stop wanting something that you can't have. Side note, I had this conversation with a, uh, I had this, uh, I made this statement uh, on, uh, earlier about this guy. This, uh, apparently this person got kicked out of Planet, got taken out of Planet. Uh, look, a chick got taken out of Planet Fitness in handcuffs over the length of her shorts. And I feel like that is America and millennials as a whole in a nutshell. If the establishment is like, hey, I need you to leave because of this. Get the fuck out. Do you understand? You don't have to be there. It's not like the whole idea of it's not fair. That's not your call to make. Like it's simply not your call to make. Like what's fair and what's not. It's not your establishment. If you don't like the rules that they are setting, fucking leave. Get the fuck out. Like better question is why the fuck are you trying so? Why the fuck, huh? I was just saying, get the fuck out. Like, why are you trying so hard to be a part of an establishment? Why are you trying so hard to be a part of a place that doesn't want you in it? Like, it's a much better question. And the dude was like, nah, man, people just gotta, like, be more accepting and yada, yada, yada. And I was like, fuck that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, here's what it comes down to. Um, it's more than just that. Like, first off, as a trans or a gay person, you want to be accepted, right? Well, peep game. There are people who are genuinely not into what you are. And you have to like take the like the good with the bad. Like if they're not like if they're like, yeah, like we don't want you in here. Like straight up. Like if they're real about it, like from the jump. Like, hey, you gotta leave. Leave. I mean, cause they could just let you stay there. And like point out to other people that you're trans or you're gay or whatever. And then, like, allow you to be abused or mistreated. But instead, they just, like, get out, you know. Or they're, you know, whatever. Because I feel like when it comes to, like, being trans or gay or whatever, I feel like it comes down to, like, well, I'm a guy who became, who is now, who is now like, pretending to be a woman. Because I, I, the phrase, I, like, became a woman is bullshit. Like, I hate that. Like, you're not a woman. You're, you're just, you're trying hard to look like one. and failing in the process. And then you want to go into what? The uh, the female locker room? Like, well... Are you saying that it's not fair for other women to be uncomfortable with you being in there? Like, that's my question. Like, is it... Or do you really feel like it's unfair for, like, women to feel uncomfortable with you uh, coming up in there as, like, a man? Because to them, that's what you are. Because that's what you are. Like, you have, like, gone through the process to look more like a woman, but you do not look like a woman. 
your DNA and everything sets you apart as a man. You are doing well, but can you break through the secret technique of, of this darkness? Unguard. Oh, thank you. Like, it just is what it is, man. This whole trans shit. Like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with it. I don't have anything against it. Like, and I've said that before, but I don't like the personalities that come across from the people who are trans. Like, I hate it. Like, I hate it so much. Like, like, I'm all for, uh, like, equal, like, um, like, like, uh, getting rid of systematic oppression. Like, I'm all for that. But I, but as a, but black people asking for reparations, I think it's complete bullshit. Because nobody alive has ever been a slave. Well, nobody, no black person in America right now has ever, ever been a slave. You might feel like one because you don't get a lot of money when you go to work. But you ain't never been owned by no goddamn body. Like, ever. Landon. I don't know. I'm waiting for the to cry. It's like, uh, so, like, nah. Like, I don't, I don't feel like y'all deserve, we, we deserve reparations by far. Because there are still a lot of things in place to help us, uh, to help us out. I do feel like there's more things like set in place to help people of color or rather to say like people who are um in, in, who live in impoverished areas there are a lot of things yeah. put in place to help us out but i feel like a lot of those things are misused not like misused as in abused or like you know you know you know what i mean by misused but i do mean like you know used incorrectly oh my like, god that's like, I mean, we're we're having a conversation. It's like, so like by all means, I like I don't necessarily know. I was I was so aware of that, but thank you. By all means, you have to fucking like do that to even beat the game. And do that one thing with the silver arrows. You have to get the silver arrows to finish the game. Can I throw my bottles into this thing? Mother's bitch. Yeah, I can. Hmm. That the would only be way that <laughs> The only way that works is if uh, she can sometimes pop up with something that wasn't what you threw in. You know what I mean? Because she'll mm -hmm. be like, hey, did you drop this? And you'll be like, yeah, because you threw it in. And she's like, you seem like an honest person. I'll give you a gift. First off, he lied. He didn't drop it. He threw it in. Secondly, yeah, I'm going to say it's mine because it's fucking mine. Oh, well, yeah, it's mine. Uh, oh, man, I feel like I feel bad about it. I feel bad. I feel bad about saying that stuff, but it's not not true. Like the world, like everybody wants to feel special and wants to be treated a certain way. Like I want you to accept that I am who I am, man. Look, I feel like we should ex we should settle, well, not settle, but be appreciative that we aren't being attacked. If you get pulled out of a place in handcuffs, is it the whole fight? Yes, yeah, the whole fight. Yes, all right. I might be done and getting fingers. That might be a thing. Like if you like if, if you find your if you find yourself he did have a save point. Uh if you find yourself Ooh. um I mean use that if you die die. Like yeah. you know. But if you find yourself being taken out of a location in handcuffs and it's usually because you were asked to leave, the reason you were probably being taken out in handcuffs is because when they asked you to leave, you've decided that you had every right to be in there. And instead of just leaving, you decided to make a scene. Get out. <laughs> like, that's that's it. Just leave. You don't get to be there now. Go away. <laughs> like, could you imagine, like, could you imagine? Because, I mean, Americans in, a, Americans in a nutshell do have this, I'm entitled to this thing because I'm alive kind of mentality. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, that kind of is the essence of being American. It's like, I, I was born 
in this country. My grandfather fought. I mean, he fought his cousin Ray, but still he fought. <laughs> he did so, like, too, so it's like, you don't get shit just because you exist. Like, that's not how this works. But yeah, it it just, it, that shit bothers me. Like I'm like back when they were like, well, should trans men be allowed to use the, fem the female's restroom? No, they shouldn't. Why shouldn't they? It's like, well, what if they get attacked in the men in the men's room? Well, what if a woman gets attacked in the females in the re in the women's restroom? Like, a woman who was born a woman and has had to like go through all the horse shit that women go through had to deal with like you know going through crap ass puberty as a female, have to deal with menstrual cycles and all that other stuff. They are women like through and through. They are women. If they feel uncomfortable with somebody who basically still has like the mind of a man like in like in their restroom shouldn't they be the one who decides whether or not it's okay like if we're married and like we both own the home we stay in it's not up to me to just say oh yeah it's my friend he's gonna uh, stay here with us couple for, for a couple of weeks that's not my call to make we both have to agree that you know you that we are okay with this because you live here just as much as I do. You're about to get hit. Man. That's all I'm I, it baffles me every time you do that. Because the item don't change locations. It doesn't. Nope, that's it. Mm. I just want to go up. This is what it is, but that was a thing like I had a conversation about today. Oh, oh, oh. But that was the thing I had a conversation about today, and I'm pretty sure it will offend someone. It was like, if, because I don't know why the, 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 the reason, the lady said that she got kicked out of Planet Fitness simply because her shorts were too short. And I can only imagine that their response to her shorts was, hey, um, we, uh, your shorts are too short. We're going to need you to either change or leave. And her response was, I don't have to. You know what I'm, you feel what I'm saying? Like it was that I simple. Like she, she could say she, uh, she had the opportunity to go ahead and be like, oh, fine, whatever. But it's, your, it's not your location. It's not like, like, no, Planet Fitness should just do whatever I say do to, and make me comfortable as a person. No. That's not how, the, has the world ever worked that way? Has the world ever worked that way? Like, I think the pro, I think this is like one of the, like the downsides to like having gay characters in like, like across every other TV show now is like they like, everybody thinks that they make a big of enough stink about something, they can get whatever the fuck they want by, lit by literally being a jackass. And like, that's a problem. Like, that's not what's up. Like the same goes like this whole, the, the riots and shit. Like to assume that this is how you get stuff done? No. Like I personally don't think that the that the government should have ever given in to the rioters. Like I feel like they should make it very clear that the only reason that we are giving that we are working on anything right now is because of the protest and the conversation and the open dialogue between everybody that has uh, that has transpired. Like we detest and we like you know do not stand behind or appreciate or respect anybody who would damage the property of another of another american because they are upset under any circumstances yeah yeah i mean you know what i mean girl yeah but the thing the other thing i was talking about as a, before the uh vi before we uh started recording again was like just this realization like uh i forgot what i was looking at we we'll forgot what I was looking at exactly. It's weird that there are hearts on the ground like that. That's a very strange uh, aesthetic choice to me. But like, cause, cause I started this, I started this, I was talking about like I, how often I talk about relationships. Apparently that dude didn't know. Uh, unless like Link brought him back to life when he touched the charge first. 
I find cause... it like I find it surprising that um. Cause like for the longest time, you always assume like if somebody's like attractive, like they don't have relationship issues. Like I think that's what we all think. We all think if a girl is extremely cute, like or what, or a guy's like extremely attractive, you didn't open that chest. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's that guy doing? That was the dude that was the lockpick. Oh. And now we get to see those two as humans. Hmm. Your uncle recovers. He's not dead. I mean, he was. But, cause he but in this died, house, he, by far, he, in this house, by far, he is the weaker of the two uh, occupants. So he will uh, shut his fucking mouth from here on out. You make all the decisions. If I say we're having spaghetti, we're having spaghetti tonight. God damn it. We don't even have spaghetti. There's no such thing. But yeah, like the idea that like if somebody's like, you know, mildly uh, attractive, they don't really have to worry oh, about Oh yeah, their names are maple and syrup. I forgot to, to say that. Oh. Their names are maple and syrup. Good for them. It's not true. Like, that's a fallacy. Like, seeing that there are definitely like people who are like generically attractive. They have the same kind of like, like love follies that everybody else has. And it's that. weird. And it's weird seeing that. Like, it's weird seeing it to me because it flies in the face of this thing that you like, that most of us have thought for so fucking long. It's like, you know, it, ugh, man. I always like, I just bug, I bug over the fact that there are people who don't, um, I bug over the fact that there are people who, like, don't experience something. So, therefore, to them, it doesn't exist. Like, there are people out there who feel like, well, this is, like, this is how I've lived my entire life. So, it's clearly not that hard. And, like, it always, like, you know, surprises me that, like, there are people out there who still think that. Like, and I'm here, that's definitely what it is about COVID. Like, there are people out there who, like, don't know anybody who's gotten sick. But they feel like... They feel like since they don't know anyone who's ever been sick, it's not real. Like, they've only been told stories of people who have gotten sick. So, therefore, no one's actually gotten sick. It's just lies and fallacies. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and that's not true. Like, like how, how do you think the government could, like, you know, create these false numbers for so long? And, like, it's not... It is what it is. It is who it is. It's fucking Sean, god damn it. Sean's a fucking retard, you dumbass white boy. Fuck! God damn it. Like, how much... Like, how much of an asshole do you need to be to just be like, yeah, I don't believe this. I'm not wearing a mask. You know what? Like, just fucking put on the goddamn mask. It's not even all the time. It's just when you go out in public. Your bread probably stank any goddamn way. Put on the motherfucking mask. Shit. At the very least... Even if fucking COVID ain't the problem, there's still germs and stuff out there. Wear the mask for your own fucking protection. And if you do, and you might not even know if you have COVID because if you're so goddamn like determined to not wear a mask, like how do you know you haven't contracted it already? Like God damn it! apparently that touches a nerve for me. <laughs> Just wear the fucking mask. Shit. I turned the fan too far again. Yeah. And relationships suck, I guess is the other thing I was trying to get I was gonna cross it. Like it just it doesn't seem to really matter. Like relationships are difficult for everybody. And I um I think one of the biggest like issues like because uh, I was I was I was trying to explain the who was it? Like, I was trying to explain to Kiana the whole uh, idea of um that like good guys can't tell aren't allowed to discuss how good of a guy they are because it immediately negates them being a good person. So like <laughs> the problem with that turns into, well, if you're a good guy, like if there's a, like there's a guy or a girl that you've devoted a lot of your time and effort to, and you feel like they don't really appreciate the effort you put in. Are you allowed to say that? Because it seems like you're not allowed to point that out. Like, you're not allowed to be like, I don't really think that you appreciate the amount of, you know, stuff I do for you. Or, like, how often I'm there for you and whatever. 
Because that their immediately response, their immediate response, or the normal response could be, well, what do you want them to do to prove that they are they are appreciative? Like, what do they have to like? What fuck you? Date you? Is that is that what you're expecting? It's like, well, not always, but a lot of the times, yeah. Because like, I don't nobody do this shit for nothing. Like, it is what it is. Like, if you are constantly dating shitty dudes, and there's that one guy that you know for a fact is straight and he is single. If he's been there, if he's there for you every fucking time, you get your heart broken, quote unquote broken. And you're like looking for somebody to like, you know, make you feel better. He is not, I repeat, he is not doing it because it helps him like become immune to cancer. He's doing it to try to prove his worth as like an emotional, like he can, he can provide for you emotionally on top of everything else. And so, like, when you do, like, ignore him eventually, that's why I, I told uh, somebody that every good guy eventually becomes a bad guy because it always seems like the good guys always get, like, looked over. And it seems like the only time that, uh... It seems like the only time that's okay is if it's a female saying it. I don't know what any of this means. Are these the number of times you died? What am, what am I looking at? I don't know. Thanks, for the, thanks for the information. Uh, um, Because girls can always say, like, the only reason she's a bitch is because she was da 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 Because she was treated poorly or whatever the fuck. But if a guy says it, like, it, it loses all, like, he loses credibility. Like, it just, it sucks. Like, being a dude sucks. Being a dude is trash. I don't know. I appreciate you didn't see my my conversation with this dude on uh, Twitter about catcalling. And, uh... No. Well, basically, he, he retweeted this tweet about this girl. This girl saying, uh, she was walking down the street and she got catcalled and she turned around with her mask on. And it was the, uh, and it, it's a, uh, a V for Vendetta mask. And her response was, like, I'll fucking kill you. And she said she felt good about it after the fact. And I was like, okay, well, next time it happens, these motherfuckers just tell you, you ugly then. Fuck it. And he was like, this ain't it, chief. And I was like, no, fuck. My response, my reasoning behind it was her response wasn't necessary. This is the screen. It doesn't change. All you can yep. do is reset the game. That's how old SNES games were. Like when it was an adventure game, all you could do is reset the game. Like it, it would save you at your last, it would save your last, uh, the last thing you did. And that was it. So if you went to fight Ganon again, you could just do it over and over. Why you would, I don't know. But uh, like the the argument I put up was, he's like catcalling people is rude. I was like, he's like, do you not feel catcalling is rude? I was like, no, catcalling isn't rude. Catcalling at best is a mild inconvenience, and it's annoying. But calling somebody like calling a female a bitch because you're trying to talk to her and she won't talk to you, that's rude. Like that's not only that's not that's that's not annoying that's uncalled for and that is rude. To disrespect somebody because they won't give you what you want is rude. But to simply see a fine girl walk by and you like and you whistle at her or you be like damn girl you fine, like that's not rude. Like at the very least it's annoying to you. And if you're so much of a weak fucker that you get offended and you it ruins your day because somebody whistled at you, stay your bitch ass in the house. Motherfucker, what kind of bullshit is that? Like straight the fuck up, because I'm pretty sure like the reality. Because I told him the reality is it's not it's specific to women. Men get catcalled too. It's like the only difference is some of them like it. We're so like the stereotype with men is like, oh, well, they all like sex, so it's okay if you do it to a guy. He doesn't mind. But that's not fucking true. But that's the stereotype, and a lot of women like like move with those stereotypes in mind. It, which is. Uh, I live in a, we live in a world where like if it justifies your shitty actions that's what we're going with you feel me if people always try to find a way to justify what they did and why why they did it and why what they did is okay it's like oh, like it's, it's like the idea that you can't rape a man because men like having sex so therefore you can't rape a guy unless you're a guy you can totally rape a dude uh but women can't rape men, which is, again, not true. 
Like, I think the only time, like, you can consider it rape is if she's, like, just straight up ugly. And it's like, ugh, you fucked him, nasty bitch. Uh, I don't know. I, just, I have, like, so many thoughts about stuff. Like, I I go through a lot of it. And, like, I'm all, and I always feel like I'm by myself. And, like, a lot of the stuff that I go through that sucks, I don't have, I don't feel like I'm allowed to talk about it. Or, like, I don't feel like I'm in a position to talk about it. So, like, it just festers. And then I use this channel that's mine and mine alone to uh, to use it as, like, an open source of, open source diary to just talk about what the fuck I want to talk about. And, like, that's what ends up happening. And it's, like, and this shit sucks. Like, most of it just dookie. Just straight up dookie. And it... Like, I don't know how else to put it. Like, feeling... Feeling like that you're feeling like your feelings aren't important because you're a guy is really weird because you're not a lot. Because I feel like almost any time a guy would like bring that up, somebody, male or female, not far away will be like, but women. And it's like, God damn it. Like, I guess that. I, so, yeah, I guess you're right. Fuck it. I guess we should shut the fuck up because everybody else has had it worse. So therefore, my problems aren't important. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Because I feel like when it comes to like talking to females, it's always what it is. It's like girls love bitching and complaining about their issues and they want you to listen. But what ends up happening is if you try to like relate what you've gone through and try to tell them, oh yeah, I kind of like it. Like they almost immediately like either tell you, no, it's not the same thing. Here's why. And, and they'll be like, yeah. And then like even relate it further to something else they went through. But they just won't shut the fuck up. And let you, you know, go through your shit. Like, and it's always annoying. And that's like, that's just, I don't know. And I don't have any, like, I don't have a way to talk about it. It's like, because it's one of those things where, like, the person to talk about that with is a female. And it's a female who, like, who's ready to, like, have that conversation. But, like, having a conversation with one person, the problem is, like, it doesn't stop the overall reason that you feel that way. Like, because the world outside of that conversation will still see it is, it's not that big of a deal, or whatever. So like, that's like the the way I've like adopted I've adopted that as like the mentality I have toward most people's problems. They don't have a problem with other people's problems, so why the fuck am I supposed to care about yours? You know what I mean? Like, if men are out here, a lot of men out here feel like they don't have value because like they don't have a big enough dick or they don't have a big enough wallet. So therefore they don't, they are not valued. Like it doesn't matter what else they can do. Like, cause I mean, like the thing, like, what the reason for that is that's not just necessarily media that pushes that narrative. Citizens, everyday people push that narrative. You know, like what does a man bring to a table other than dick and money? Like if you can't do this, what can you do? What, what good are you? And it's like the fact that I, you know, won't treat you like shit. Like, could you just appreciate the fact that I won't beat your ass? Because, like, let's say you get a dude who, like, has all these qualities that you think is perfect. On top of that, you want him to be fucking faithful. Uh, no. None of that's happening. Because you got to take the good with the bad. He ain't finna be all that. Because he ain't got to be all that. He can treat you however he wants to treat you. Because if you leave, someone else will take up the slack. Motherfucker. And, you know, that's how it is. And it sucks. And it sucks because no one gives a fuck but then it gives you the right to also not give a fuck so it feels kind of good same time i don't like it no no one gives a shit no one watched the series no one made it to this far made it to this point uh but this is the end of this video hopefully you got something out of this garbage if you didn't i ain't shit i can do for you uh leave your comments below uh you can say some shit something he 100% of it. it. Like, I I, like, I was literally giving you the opportunity to say, you, do, you don't take it, I'm just in the video. I mean, um, also those numbers apparently do mean, like, how many times I died, like, without getting a rock in the period. Hmm. Ain't bad. I mean, I guess. I will say, though, uh, here's the deal. Uh, playing Link's Awakening, uh, try not to die ever. <laughs> try not to die ever. Yeah, there's a secret ending if you don't die. 
but if you do die, just like like close the game and then like restart it, like from your last <laughs> like save often. I guess is the key. They really save often. Yeah. All right, y'all. That's it. We'll catch you next week. As I roll my eyes, talking to my invisible audience. Uh, we'll catch you guys next week with something. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna play yet. I don't know for a fact that there will be a video series like after this, because like I might just take a break. Um, which is something I've never said, but I don't, uh, and I probably have said before and never just, just didn't. Because I've threatened to quit a few times, but it was, like, for different reasons. But now, like, I, like, I have, I like, this... the time the, sermon, the Sunday sermons and that you're, like, I'm just going to stop. The, that, you know, a lot of that was because of, how, like, how slow my internet is. Like, because, like, the internet is, like, the re, like, if, if it's not good, my, I can't create good content. Like, I have to, like, lower the quality of the video just so it'll upload on time. Because, like, right now, that's what's going on with, uh, with you know, the other internet is I'm using it and it's not good. So videos can't get uploaded when they need to be uploaded. Yeah. So, yeah, like, so there's a good chance I might take a break. I don't know. It just depends on, like, how I feel. But yeah. either way. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. No one's gonna do that. No one gives a shit. The world outside is toxic as fuck, and it's trash. We are still probably, we are still probably like one of the. This is probably one of the better YouTube channels that are uh, that. This is one of the better YouTube channels for people who don't have the money to do what Game Grumps does, and people like that. By all means, I can tell you for sure that my setup, you can achieve with like fifteen hundred dollars. Now, that sounds like a lot of money, and it is. I don't have $1,500 laying around, but I can, and mind you, I'm not talking about the game console. I'm talking about just the laptop, the Elgato, and my microphone. That's it. You can get for like $1,500. You can get this entire set of $1,500, and you're good to go to record whatever you want. Well, yeah, because that, that includes like all three capture cards, which I have to use to make all of this possible and the HDCP stripper, which makes like the PS three possible and the PS four, like easier to deal with. Like I, like I am the channel to come see like, you know, for like the, the basic, how do I do that, that, That's what it is. So guys, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, peace.